Hi everyone. If you're new to my channel, my name is Krista Q, and if you're not new, welcome back. This haul I am just going to do at least mostly back facing like this so you guys can see the wax. I can tell you about the scents and I can kind of show you my little bitty order. Um, this order was a little bit of an afterthought. I saw just Jenny here on YouTube calling some stuff from this vendor and her name now is Traverse City, Traverse City. I'm not sure exactly how to say it. Um, she used to be Ava's Country Cupboard and I loved her wax back then. So I was excited to try it again and see if it's changed, if it's different. I find that the quality is consistent with what it used to be. It's just as good. It's just as strongly scented. And I, I couldn't help placing just a little order to kind of check it out for myself. Unfortunately, this scent was a, a top pick for me, so I'm glad that I got a bag of it. This one was kind of a replacement. Um, I had another scent that I really wanted a bag of, which I'll talk about shortly, but I am still glad I got it. It's really yummy. And mostly this was just kind of a, let's look and see and see how her wax is nowadays. There wasn't a lot left to pick from because I got there way after the restock. I honestly didn't even keep up with her restocks or her pre-orders or anything like that. So this was just kind of a, uh, a fluke order, but I'm really glad I got it. Unfortunately, I do not have time to sit down and make like a forward facing video with this. Uh, we've got, you know, a busy homeschool week ahead of us. I've got doctor's appointments this week, lots of, lots of fun stuff. So I am just kind of trying to quickly film this before we get started. It is like eight in the morning right now. So before I get started doing my homeschool day and, you know, get the kids up and ready, I am just throwing this together. So I've got this little cloth in the background on my table to kind of keep wax crumbs off of it. So fingers crossed we can do that. I uh, may have to film this a little bit out of order, but I'll throw it together for you guys. Thank you all so much, by the way, for the warm welcome back on my last video and on Instagram. I'm really looking forward to sharing more of my recent wax adventures with you guys and just connecting with you guys. It's been really lonely not having that. So anyway, with that all said, let's get started and talk about what I got. So I did get three samples from her which was very generous, thank you so much. This first one is Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. The funny thing is I was actually going to add a bag of this to my order and it sold out, so I'm very excited to have gotten this sample and it smells just like the Bath & Body Works body care. Honey Pear Cider, I like this one. It definitely, you can smell every single one of those notes in there. It's a sweet and tart kind of apple pear scent with that like almost boozy cider back note. Um, I think this is also a dupe, but I cannot remember who it's for, but it's really good. Um, that's one that my husband probably doesn't care for. Well, I know he won't care for, so I'll have to melt that when he's at work. And birthday cake. This is just your standard, straightforward, sweet vanilla bakery birthday cake. Always a good addition. Always something I will use and enjoy. So thank you so much for the sample. So I also just want to pour out these shape bags for you guys so you can see how many adorable shapes she includes. Um, this first one is Frankenstein. You can see that's buttery cupcakes, sweet pumpkin, crushed pecans, and vanilla bean. I honestly smell pumpkin pecan waffles in this. I don't know if that's actually the oil she's using this little cloth down to hopefully keep from getting wax all over the table but you can see there's a variety of shapes there's this little like kind of grubby bread loaf almost there's ice cream scoops these little swirls they almost look like little poop emojis <laughs> but flat and then these adorable little suns these remind me of um some shapes that candles from the keeping room and if you guys have been in the wax scene for a really long time and you remember like country lane keepsakes i think it was uh, a couple of those that did the hard paraffin wax they used to have these really cute little sun shapes and i will say these are pretty thick 
I know some people would just throw this whole thing in their warmer. I would cut this in half. Pretty much all of these shapes I would cut in half and get two melts out of. So that's a pretty good amount of wax for this one little bag. Okay, and next we have Snickerdoodle. There's cat hair on that, sorry. Snickerdoodle is vanilla cookies, cinnamon, butter, and sugar. And her cinnamon is, it is a bakery cinnamon, but it's less sweet than most bakery cinnamons. It smells like real, you know, ground cinnamon right out of the jar, to me, anyway. Now, I feel like this bag has fewer shapes in it, but I'm assuming it's because of weight. Because if you look even at these two, these two, they, they're they different thicknesses, different weights. And I feel like she probably does them by weight rather than number of tarts. But again, I would cut these at least in half. They're pretty, pretty hefty. So you're going to get quite a few good size melts out of one of these bags. And I got two of her leaf tarts. These are pretty good size. You can see the thickness. Uh, I would probably get at least four melts out of this. Again, I am kind of a stingy melter compared to some people. Um, I don't know exactly how many ounces these are, but yeah, I would get at least four melts out of this. And I love these because you can see she's done several colors on each and you can see all the little veining and the leaf, it's so cute. So I got maple cinnamon pancakes which is buttermilk pancakes maple syrup and cinnamon and you can definitely smell every note in this it's really really rich really good i will say i mentioned in another another scent that her cinnamon smells like cinnamon straight out of a jar so it's very authentic a very yummy bakery cinnamon but it can be a little abrasive and last Sorry for the dog scratching at the door. I'm gonna let him in in just a second. <laughs> Last, I got Funnel Cake Lane, which is golden cake, sweet cider, cinnamon, and sugar. This is just Cider Lane from uh, Bath and Body Works with a funnel cake note added, which just makes it richer and more bakery and kind of creamy, and it's really delicious. So if you like Cider Lane and you like bakery, this is a good one to pick up. I do not know how often she pours her scents because again, this is my first order since she was uh, Ava's Country Cupboard. It's been a really long time since I've ordered from her, so I am no expert by any means, but I will definitely be keeping up with her restocks and pre-orders and things and picking up some more from her because I had forgotten how good her wax is. I'm sad that I missed Ultimate Sugar Cookie because that is quite literally the ultimate sugar cookie and it's one of my favorites. She has that really good sugar cookie oil that I love and you guys know that I tend to really go crazy when it comes to a good basic sugar cookie. So anyway, that was my entire little haul from Traverse City and thank you all so much for being here and for putting up with a at least mostly back facing video and I will be back with another video for you as soon as I possibly can. I've had several orders placed recently and I've got several things coming in but I'm also as I've said before I'm homeschooling I'm working from home so life stays pretty hectic here but Anyway, thank you all so much for being here. Let me know what you think of this vendor and what scents I should try. And until next time, thanks for stopping by.